Well, what we're specifically talking about right now is reincarnation. And that, you know, it, it, the amazing thing is it's not going to put bread or butter on the table. <laughs> hmm. And I'd be more interested in, in uh, 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 coming alongside, uh, no matter who you are, no matter what your faith oh, oh, is, yeah. feeding the yeah. poor and those who are in need, yeah. Yeah. Than, than worry about what, this one stance is. I just want right, to say right. that. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Like, I know for uh, for people like that that aren't big on uh, reincarnation, then uh, well, b- what we can agree on is uh, God and coming from the source and that we're here to uh, have mercy and compassion for all beings, uh, living in the image of uh, Jesus Christ um, and or Allah. And, uh, and and I have yeah. and I I just want to say too uh, mm-hmm. to my Muslim brothers, uh, my my Islamic Islamic name is Abdul Rahim, and uh, many know that I I have uh, had some experience being a Muslim, but really I what my mainstay now is to understand that it's it's not so much what I know. It's, it's the fact that I'm growing. We are growing as a community. And uh, without some strategic uh, initiatives, we're in big, big trouble. Uh, that's how I say You say we're in an age of peace. Uh, I believe well, the peace will... Peace will... Statistically, it's, everything is more peaceful all the time. Well, uh, they're certainly not advertising that on the air. Oh, well, it might well, be true, yeah. but they're certainly not bringing that to the news. Oh, well, just, that's, that's because uh, people wouldn't watch that on the news. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, but um, it's like, look, another child is happy. Well, <laughs> well, you know, and they, they don't want to, they're not making any money on that one. Right. But, well, but you know, Gray Bruce, uh, the, the Gray Bruce Times. Yeah. Uh, they usually have positive uh, things on the front page. Oh, awesome! Nice. I, I think the, yeah. there should be, and there, you know, we're going back to wholesome traditional values. Mm-hmm. People want to see uh, good storylines. People want to hear good things. Mm-hmm. And when we do, po- when we purpose to to be positive in our outlook, uh, because there has been a rage in me uh, fighting for those who are in need. You know, because it's it's heartfelt. Because you get to see front. And center those who are uh, sometimes even die in front of you, or slow deaths because they're hurting and they're in the opioid syndrome, and there's really no fault of their own because they've been set up. It, 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 it's it's a mindset, and it's uh, it, it's big big money, and um, all I know is um, this little walk here has stirred me up just to say, well, you know, obviously Logan has something on the go that um, I won't endorse it. I won't I won't say. We should jump into it, but certainly we should uh, consider talking with Logan. Uh, he seems like a very nice man, and he's genuine. That's what I can say. You know, uh, this has been a good, good little walk. little walk today. It's it's really gone all around the board. <laughs> but um, life is special, and uh, to be lived and to love. I like I like what you're sharing about uh, forgiveness. And what was the some of the uh, character uh, traits you were talking about. Uh, forgiveness, com- mercy, compassion, and unconditional love. Yes. Yes. Th- those are the main traits of, of God. Uh, yeah. I- in, uh, for instance, the Quran, Allah is most compassionate most and compassionate. most merciful. Yes. Yeah. And so, uh, which I fall so short of, but um, the times I am kind, the times I'm reaching out, it really adds to my life. And, and I see the value in, in uh, loving others, not to speak for myself, but because of the value of who they are. And having a community, we desperately need a community, uh, just locally here in Canada, it's all over the world, but right here, we need, we need a place where we can grow. Not just one year, the next year, but throughout our life where we can have some stability and you know have a running brook or have a you know trees oh, yeah. trees around you and to be able to go outside and you're you're able to pick fruit off your tree or mm-hmm. or grow in the winter time have 
you know uh, oh, other in the winter time there's yeah. there's tubers what's, uh, what's that tubers what's that we, they're, they're, well like potatoes oh okay uh, but sorry. sunflower okay, yeah. potatoes okay yeah. um and uh, y- y- you can th- they actually they grow here and they're hardy to our our zone okay and uh, you can get uh, all of your carbohydrates uh, easily from sunflower potatoes oh, they grow very okay. well okay and you can also uh, there's apios americana uh, which also has uh, that they're another kind of potato okay uh, but they're very high in protein about they're okay. about 30 oh. to 40 percent protein oh. uh, so you can get all your protein needs uh, okay. in the winter or, right. or the summer with them and are you a vegetarian I'm a vegan Oh, vegan. Okay, good. Because yeah. I was about to say, you know, of course, we can go hunting and all that. So I'll be careful what I say because I don't want to offend you. Oh, yeah. But, but, but it, it, it's yeah. just that um, the issue with meat is that it requires a lot more space. So, for okay, instance, sure. uh, remember how I was telling Especially you? Especially a cow. Yeah, a hectare <laughs> meat is enough to feed uh, 300 kilos of human, but it's only enough to feed 150 kilos of pig. Okay. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. it, it's it makes more sense to not have the pig in the picture, <laughs> well, and, and just have more protein sources. Like yeah. there's pea trees yeah, yeah. and legumes yeah, and yeah. things like that for protein. Yeah. Uh, in terms of omega threes, one of the things I was thinking of is crayfish, okay. uh, because fi- fish fish are also extremely uh, they they need a large amount of food, yeah. uh, and so so you'd be taking away food from yourself. Yeah. Uh, but crayfish, like uh, there's um, Oroconos communis, uh, they live in uh, ditches yeah. and stuff. Um, and so we can grow, we can create habitat for them. Okay. And then uh, get our omega 3s uh, and B12 from uh, crayfish. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, so, so, so yeah, I actually am working on a piece of software. To help design uh, these uh, sustainable hectares, uh, based on the Plants for a Future database. Okay. And uh, so that way, uh, we can uh, kind of like when, once we get it going, we can like cookie cutter these uh, sustainable communities all over uh, Great Brusso and Sound, or all over Canada. I, I also have um, a foreign investor who's interested in setting one up in Africa and Mexico. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have uh, someone else in New Zealand uh, that's interested in making one. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. I, uh, I think uh, you reminded me of uh, the movie Gandhi. Uh, uh, I, I often would watch it. I've watched it probably over 30, 40 times. Uh, researched him a little bit, but mm-hmm. you know he had an ashram where you know the different people came together, the Jews, the Catholics, you know other different people of, from around the world, and he established something that uh, today, to this day, is a uh, template. You know our cities revolve around all different ethnic, cultural religious backgrounds mm-hmm. and politically uh, political ideologies and yet um, what he did was was the common commonness of man and helping one another in community one thing that I've learned being overseas really is uh, and being only the white man in front of the in, uh, around millions and millions of black people like I fit in like a glove and I'll tell you why is because they don't think like the average white guy who just says well I'm going to have my house and I'm going to have this I'm going to I'm going to have that but they they come from a tribal society of which when they say brother it's not just your physical brother or sister it's it, it, you're from that tribe or you're from that nation or nations mm-hmm. and you you work together because you it's not like this is your land it's it's the land that God has given us just like the the, the indigenous people we're on their land mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You yeah know? yeah we're, 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 we're cooperating with the uh, Ojibwe yeah, there uh, you go. yeah so you're very inclusive but more than that you're considering others just how you're talking you know like 
we you know where where do I fit in? I don't know. I I need help. I need I need to do the next right thing. That's all. That's it's, good. Yeah. So yeah yeah. I know uh, in, in many Christian traditions uh, they talk about the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You know, accessing yeah. the Holy Ghost. So yeah. so that that's um, in Buddhism. Uh, we, we do that with uh, theta wave meditation. So, how do you say that again? Theta wave. Theta. That's a well, wave. that that's the uh, scientific term for okay. it. Okay. All right. But basically, in theta wave meditation, it's it's slightly uh, lower frequency than alpha wave. Okay. And uh, in theta wave, you can access your subconscious mind. Okay. And so, uh, say for instance, you have you, a question, yeah. then you go down into theta wave meditation, and you ask the question. And then you uh, kind of quiet the mind and then allow the vision to unfold of okay. the answer. And so... So, so that's just like asking the Holy Ghost. Okay, well, instance. okay, but, mm -hmm. well... It's the same, same concept. Same okay, well, concept. What, what I'm trying to say, how would you initiate that? How would you, uh, in your meditation, what, what would you be your discipline to do that rather than just say, you know, meditate? So, oh well, uh, like for for beginners. It's a bit uh, cool out here for you. I yeah, think yeah. It's time to yeah, or, or get at least warm. standing under that tree. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, so, because yeah, we're kind of in a throwaway. Okay. Uh, for beginners, uh, you can do theta wave entrainment uh, melodies, and they will help uh, your brain will synchronize to the theta waves. And uh, kind of an important note is that it's kind of mostly for the initial question. Uh, so once you ask the question, then uh, once the vision starts unfolding, then you go into, uh, it's like a dream. So then you go into rapid eye movement. Uh, so, how, so how, how would you access, how, how, what kind of discipline, give, give me a, you know, a short play-by-play -play how you would do that. So how I would do that, I would sit down for meditation. Yeah. And then I would uh, do some breathing, maybe like uh, five or ten minutes to uh, help me uh, cal calm down and uh, just have the alpha wave stillness. And then I uh, would uh, have uh, my question, hold it as my intent, and then I would sink a little bit lower. And then I would kind of, uh, I would just wait. I would just kind of be in like a pregnant silence. <laughs> right. And then, uh, and then usually the answer comes. Okay, so one one thing, and I'm glad you shared that is like mm -hmm. a lot of the spiritual disciplines, uh, especially from the East, uh, the Eastern meditation uh, really gripped North America only in the last 30, 40 years. It's, mm -hmm. it's it's something new because we've never really sat down and just did nothing and allowed the silence become you know to and what, what and the reason why i say that or the reason why i'm talking about it is because the spiritual disciplines that that um sometimes they can be so religious that you miss the whole thing too because you, you're going mechanical mm -hmm. but jesus talks about the heart he he deals with the individual and and the reason why i'm sharing this is because i think it's important that that we don't disclude some of the disciplines that are practiced are actually very close to a, a Christian's way of life, but a Christian is so far from it here in North America. Um, everything's loud, everything's fast, everything's programmed, everything's this, this, this. And mm. we have to slow down to hear the voice of God. Yeah. And well, it's, yeah, it's the voice of the Holy is, Ghost in the, in the Holy Spirit <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and I often and, and I think those who would be listening today can attest to when they go to sleep and uh, sometimes they're awakened to a certain uh, uh, understanding or something you know that's when God can really speak to us is in the sleep it, or the, the the night hours because you know, our brain has been so racked with this and that. It's when we become still. And it's the, the Word of God says, you know, be still and know that I am God. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, just standing under this tree is really uh, rather unique. It's very yeah. peaceful here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It is. And, and there's a lot less wind and everything. Yeah. It's much warmer. I've yeah. enjoyed this time, mm -hmm. Logan. Uh, I know you're a deeper type of person. <laughs> Thanks. And, um, <laughs> 
I, I think I would just would welcome others to come and get to know you as I will as mm -hmm. time goes, sure. yeah. you yeah. know, mm -hmm. and as the Lord would direct my steps, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. But I, I purposed, I purposed, I, I just want to say on camera here that I purpose to get to know you. Mm -hmm. I think others uh, just understanding in North America, you know, someone's dressed the way he is, you, you kind of, others, others maybe from the old school would say, well, this guy's nuts, man. But like, who is this guy? <laughs> you know, he's wearing green. And, but see, people, people, if, if, if they would just go with their heart, they might even come up to you and say, you know, I, I have a few questions. Why, why are you dressed in green? What is that you believe? What, mm -hmm. are, why are you here? What is, you know, and I, you know, it's not, I hope I haven't singled you out by sharing that. I, no, I'm just saying right. what I think others might say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I think it's important that we get to know each other. Because, you know, I believe that God has created us to all live together forever. Yeah. It's not, it's not mm -hmm. just here and now. Right, right. Yeah, with the New Age uh, kind of civilization, um, basically it just kind of gets better and better after. Uh, but yeah, they, they did find that in the 2100s that uh, only about 5-6% to 6 of people saw themselves uh, in that time frame. So the other 95% were not incarnated uh, for whatever reason. And they, they're not really sure what happens, but it might be related to peak soil and peak oil and all those peak phosphorus and... Uh, so after, after say for instance 2035 which is peak phosphorus the price of wheat will have a conventional wheat will have yeah. nowhere to go but up yeah. um, and yeah. so you, you know the, well you, you can imagine what happens <laughs> yeah. um, oh I had two things I wanted to mention one was okay. uh, that the uh, how the Christians do it is asking the Holy Ghost what's, what's good about that is that they're asking a benevolent uh, spirit uh, to filter the incoming information because uh, some people do make kind of the error of uh, you know going into that subconscious state and then just accepting anything that happens and being like this is what I have to do yeah. uh, but we still have uh, our own free will and be like you know if you have a bad vision it's like you know what I don't want that yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know you can choose you can choose yeah. to say no and then you can also choose you know that a benevolent uh, spirit like the holy ghost or if you're a buddhist maybe Av avalokiteshvara or you know if you're a hindu it might be some other benevolent yeah. you know spirit but the, the the idea is the same it's they're all from the source of that unconditional love and uh the best <laughs> intentions and and there, there was one more thing i th think i forgot to mention was uh, another great winter fruit uh, that we can grow here is persimmons. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. And so they actually, many of them stay on the tree all winter. Yeah. So you can have uh, fresh persimmons all throughout the winter. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I, I personally, <laughs> I personally, uh, I like the warmer climates. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, being overseas in Africa, West Africa, I, I, it's a couple months where you don't like it, but generally it's pretty... Uh, you know, it's, it's to me. I maybe I'm a soft Canadian, but mm -hmm. the, the the beauty here, as as anyone could see in our walk, mm -hmm. is very inviting. And this is mm -hmm. the fall season, and soon to be winter now. Mm -hmm. well, I mm -hmm. guess it is winter now. Well, it's Early it's technically winter. still autumn. Is it okay until the winter solstice? Oh, right. That's right. Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the main thing with uh, here. Is to be appropriately dressed. Yeah, yeah. You know, if we're appropriately dressed and have appropriate tools or whatever, then it's a wonderful place to be. I agree. You know, yeah. you you can even like if you if you can even take naps. Yeah. Like I, I actually take naps in my hammock all winter long. Okay. Uh, I just have you know enough padding and uh, sleeping oh. bags and okay, everything's fine. <laughs> Negative twenty four, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Um, just. Mm -hmm. We're almost done this yeah. walk, but what mm -hmm. do you think about the uh, situation when we have uh, homeless on the streets? Mm -hmm. uh, downtown Owen Sound has become a is becoming a war zone. People are being stabbed. Really? Gun, gun, yeah. People are uh, having gun pulled on the other day. You know, people uh, 
a lot of the unreported things in the news hmm. that that being part of an outreach ministry you know you know you're careful in what you want to share from a negative standpoint because mm-hmm. we always want to look on the positive right right but my question would be how how would you uh, help to or support those uh in their uh you know like you know w- so so the the well like the, i have several ideas on on that front one of them was um Harrison Park, uh, using it as a you know a temporary shelter for the winter, and then they could pay the rental portion of their Ontario Works or ODSP so that they could get proper gear for the winter, so mm-hmm. they don't get any frostbite and right. stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then the the next level up would be like if they manage to you know do the course, or uh, if if we well, they they can you know have the new paradise too, right? Sure, um, sure. And the new Paradise communities. And I'm glad. I'm glad you shared that. Um, mm-hmm. I know Gray County has put people in the summer uh, in the campgrounds here, which I I, I I can't say I agree because of the children around. But it, I mean, that's what they've done. But you know, when we have people wandering, they need a place to stay. We need we need to do something. Mm-hmm. And um, who knows? You know, like. Because, you know, people, when we say people on the street, we're, we're just people. You know, some people have lost a home or, you know, lost a relationship or get mm-hmm. they're back into a vice that they never thought they'd do. And when we can offer someone not just a handout but a hand up, you know, when we're yeah, mov- yeah. moving mm-hmm. towards, you know, community, mm-hmm. then those same people who and this is what i'm a big believer i've seen it over and over again when you invest in somebody else even if you don't see it right away it might not be with you Mm -hmm. that person that that seed of hope can and most likely will have fruit down the road that they'll be helping somebody else yeah right sure sure so yeah we 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 are all one being yeah you know we're we're, we all have the spark of the one infinite creator yeah you know so we all have the infinite potential to to help each other that's it yeah i think that's i think that's a good (laughs) place just to finish off today thank you so much thank you so much for your